Okay, I am using my light box from Daylight USA to help me do this pattern matching. Basically, I want to make sure that I have a beautiful center front seam. So, I'm going to make sure that I'm, first of all, using the right side of this fabric. There is a right side. I don't know if you can actually tell. There is this one that's shiny, and this is the wrong side, which I don't want this side. So, I have to keep remembering to use the right side. So basically what I'm going to do is lay my pattern out like this and I'm going to take my pattern and I'm going to lay it right at the edge right there. Perfect. So don't mark on it like I've done. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to just tape this here just to hold it in place so it doesn't move while I'm kind of like manipulating my fabric. Is this going to matter that much? Probably not. So I've marked my seam allowance over here on my actual pattern, and I'm going to lay my fabric down, and I'm just going to keep lining it up. Okay, so that's straight there. Straight there. Straight there. Not straight there. Okay. And basically what I'm using is, I'm just cutting this pattern straight in the center. And I'm going to mark that as my center front. So let me grab my pen. And I, these are my Flexion things from Pilot the friction and basically when you iron it comes out although I have just been informed that if you are going to fly somewhere or if you're going to a cold destination these will reappear you'll have to iron them back out so I did test that and it's true it, it actually does that so I marked my center front seam right there what I'm going to do is lift this off my seam allowance is marked right here. I'm just going to mark it a little darker so I can see it through the fabric. And it's this line right here. It's a poor pattern at this point, I swear. And then I'm going to just shift it and make sure this lines up with where my seam allowance is. So that's going to throw my pattern off by half an inch. That's on purpose because when I cut out the other piece, once I mark them and pin them and sew them, then the pattern will match. I really hope that makes sense. It made sense in my head, but thinking about it, maybe it doesn't make sense now. So I wanna make sure that this line right here, you move me a little closer. I wanna make sure that this line right here that's my seam allowance now. So I'm going to redraw my seam allowance line. So when I sew the right sides together, I'll sew down this line. And when I flip it, I'll have a full pattern. Just trust the process. I promise it will make sense eventually. I'm giving you a different view here. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and I'm gonna mark my whole pattern. When I take this off, my center front will have shifted. And then as I explained, Maybe it's better if I just show you. I'll just show you, okay? Let me cut this out and then I will cut the other piece and I'll show you what that looks like. It's probably better than trying to explain this. In my mind with my ADHD, it totally makes sense. And then sometimes when I look back and I watch this and I'm like, no one else is gonna get that. That's just made sense in your brain. Okay, so I have cut that out. Now what I'm going to do is take my fabric. This is still the right side that I want and I'm going to lay it out find the pattern again, which is right here. And this is my right side of the pattern that I have marked. I placed a pin right here so I can remember that is the right side and I don't mess up like I did the last time. And what I'm going to do is take my pin markings and I'm going to place it straight on the pattern. I may turn my light off just so I can do that. Have a bit of a glare. Okay. Oh, it's so much easier. Let's see, let's pin this in place. Okay, so basically it's just looking for where my pattern matches exactly. So that's going to be these little dinglings right here. And then I'll pin this in place. And then when I turn the light box off, I light box back on, I can figure out if I've messed up or if I did good. Okay. 
And again, this is just how I figured out pattern matching. I'm sure there's easier ways, but this is what makes sense to me. Okay, let's see. That one's off-centered a bit. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so now let me turn my light box on and see if it matches up. Okay. And basically, when I sew down my seam, when I open it, it'll be matched perfectly. Oh, it actually looks pretty good. So let me just double check and make sure. Now, once I take the pins over here off, and I open it, let me turn the light box off, I should have a perfect pattern. Looks pretty good. Tis good enough for me. And you always know it's gonna turn out good when this is what your seam allowance looks like. And when I flip it over, this is as close to perfect as I can possibly get it. And I'm so excited and thrilled, even though I'm totally gonna to cover it with decorations. I know it's there. So I hope this little trick helps you next time you are struggling to get that center front match perfect.